All right, guys, we're being dangerous now. What's happening is we are driving to Watts Bar Lake. I've never fished there. We're on the way there now. Gonna be there in about an hour. It is five o'clock now. So it'll be about an hour and 15 minutes for me to get to Tom Fuller Park. We're gonna fish the BFL today. I have never seen that lake. Literally never seen Watts Bar. I've always wanted to fish a tournament like a BFL on a lake just completely blind because it's just to me it's, it makes it that much more fun obviously when things go well whenever you're just blind you just I, I don't know I feel like there's more skill involved to whenever you're new on a tournament I should say there's more talent involved basically if you fish a lake for 20 years obviously you're going to develop a skill for reading that lake you're going to develop a skill in the patterns that work on that lake but if you go to a brand new lake you better have some diverse skill sets or a hell of a lot of talent and you know that's to me that's the fun part of fishing i love seeing people go to new lakes and trying to catch fish on places they don't always catch them so that's what we're doing today i wouldn't do this for a tournament that was bigger than this i would but you know at some point if you're fishing a three-day tournament at some point you're going to need to know where to go get a bite you know what i'm saying a, a one-day tournament you know it's not that important because it's only one day you know if you just catch you five you know you did pretty good anyways but if you get on something really good you just run it for that day and it's not gonna like change the next day but like a, a three-day tournament you know the pattern will change maybe five or six times throughout three days you got to keep adjust adjusting and it's nice to know you know whenever there's two hours left where you can go get a bite but we're not gonna have that luxury today we're gonna have to run new water fresh water all day it's gonna be super fun I love doing stuff like this it's awesome and hopefully we catch some, haven't made a video except for yesterday in a while, so hopefully we catch some. It'd be absolutely killer to win a BFL with absolutely no practice, no history on the lake at all. So y'all stay tuned. Hopefully today's going to be a good time. Boat 55. Well, boat wrap costs right, four grand. Up, it's hard to get people to even pay you one grand. I feel like it'd be a pretty good investment if you can get it. Boat 56. Get a reseller. You think we catch 411? There we go. There's two. Good morning. 
close. I hope it was a spot or something. Yeah, So obviously I am home now. Basically, I screwed up all day on watch bar. Um, I just really never got in the zone. I never got into flow state or whatever you want to call it. I just always felt like I was scratching, you know, I ne uh, and scrambling. I never felt like I was settled down in an area where I could fish or settle down to a pattern. It's like I caught that good smallmouth throwing a crankbait on a rock point. I ran a bunch of rock points, never had another bite, except for one more short small mouth. Then I fished up beside a dock and I caught a four pound large mouth. So then I ran a bunch of docks, didn't get any more bites. So then I, at the end of the day, I caught that other four pound large mouth, cranking on some rock points. So I was like, but I just couldn't get any bites like two in an hour. It was like one bite every two or three hours. I could not figure out any way to, you know, consistently get bites. And that's, that's the issue. And like I said, on the way down there, it had been very nice to know a place where I could go catch a couple keepers because I started struggling late in the day. Kind of struggling. That's when I caught one of the four pounders, but you know, I just couldn't get anything, get any traction and start catching them. It's uh, my fault. I didn't fish as good as I should have. If I'd have really, really been on my game, I could have had an opportunity to win that tournament because I was around them. I just wasn't really fishing from the best of my ability. And I could feel it while I was on the water. I could feel it, but I couldn't fix it because I wasn't getting any bites. So. I was obviously around good fish. My co aimer caught a five pounder. I caught two fours and a three. So obviously, you know, the opportunity to win that tournament was there. I picked a great area to start on Google Earth. We just picked a perfect place to fish. The big ones were biting, the big ones were there. I just didn't fish to the best of my ability. I was only two, I think like 20 pounds won it, and I had three for 11. So like literally two five pounders, and I would have won. And two five pounders is not that much. You know, I caught two fours and a three. So you know two five pounders are just two bites and i couldn't make it happen but anyways it's my fault if i'd have been on my game mike could have made something happen in that but i really wasn't so all the blames on me i did catch some nice ones and uh hope y'all guys like that appreciate you guys watching if you like this video guys share it and as always leave a comment hit that like button and hit that sub button appreciate it guys and i will see y'all next time